What got you interested with your illustrious career and how busy you are, and I'm looking over your credits here, and you have a few, uh, in, in collecting these one sheets and the posters and so forth? What got you interested in this exactly? At the almost beginning of my career, I decided that it would be a good thing for me to produce and direct a documentary for PBS on the settlement of the West. And so I uh, decided, you know, this is it was long before the Civil War even happened. And then I realized, as you know, uh, that television is a with it medium and that the t television itself requires a lot of film. And there was not a film producer when the Yankees landed on Plymouth Rock. <laughs> and uh, there were no film producers uh, when the uh, witchcraft trials of uh, Salem took place. And so I thought, well, and I, was, I thought of myself as a pretty smart kid at the time. The thing to do is to start with the silent films and come up through the talky films. The only problem with that was that, as you know, uh, more than three quarters of the silent films no longer exist. The medium on which the films were made exploded uh, on us. So, uh, and uh, when I was having uh, supper the other evening with a fellow from, away, from ASU, uh, he said that my figures were wrong, that it was closer to 85% of the silent films no longer existed. That's over all 85? Yes. Mm -hmm. So I decided at the time, which was probably an ill-fated decision, uh, but I lived with it for 40 years, uh, to buy and collect the uh, silent uh, motion picture uh, westerns.